Hi, my name is Patrick, and welcome to my first playthrough of this brand new game, Hourglass. I backed this game on Kickstarter a couple years back, and it just came out a couple weeks ago. I'm really excited to get started on it. I know absolutely nothing about this game, so we're just going to jump in and see what happens. Okay, there's autosave, so that's good. Tune that radio. 87-year-old archaeologist Arthur McConnor is now missing for more than two weeks. His latest expedition in Egypt was... Archaeologist Arthur McConnor never returned from his last expedition. The 47-year-old father was known for his research about ancient Egypt and its technological capabilities. His neighbors said... For 14 days, the rescue team have stopped the search for Arthur McConnor. The man who was leading the search said in an interview that it is highly unlikely for the archaeologist to still be alive. Well... Not Dad. Why's it always gotta be Dad? Um, let's go find Dad. Hopefully, we are successful in what we can jump. We can can jump. Okay, that is a thing that can happen. Oh, hello. Have we? Somebody had a campfire at some point. Okay. Bright light overhead. I hope you're appropriately attired for this environment because, you know, it's it's really dry here and hot. I wouldn't want you to get sunburned. Did you put on sunscreen? Did you put on sunscreen? You put on sunscreen. Did they have eagles that howl like that in Egypt? Ooh, hello. Oh. Okay, we we got a we got a block puzzle thing. Lift or drop cubes. Okay. Just carry the cube. Put the cube on the thing. And it does the thing for us. Okay. Puzzle mechanics on the move. Ooh, that's an interesting shaped thing there. Okay. Oh, hello. Hey, wait. Is that Dad? Hi, Dad. Wait, we gotta... Don't, don't leave without us, please. Ooh, fires. Somebody... As burning braziers going on, can we cross the water? Probably not, but we're, that's not going to stop us from trying. Nope, water. Oh, we can. No, oh, we cannot cross water. It just we we just we utterly faint at the idea of crossing water. It's just not possible. Hop up here. We can. Water is anathema to us. We cannot cross the water. That is not something we can do. Okay. We can, we can, oh, I know what we need to do here. The classic, use one to get another. That's a trick. Indeed. Alright, we got the other one. Let's see what's beyond the great beyond. I do, again, like the aesthetic that this game presents. 
We have successfully defeated the difficulty that is not being able to walk across flowing water. If that is the greatest woe that this game presents to us, then I think we will do pretty okay. Those star-shaped... Over there is... Oh gosh, I have no body, but I have a shadow. I, I am an embodied shadow. I don't really exist except but as a shadow. Am I real? Am I real? No. Okay. Artificial barrier time. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. The game wants us to focus in a specific direction. We should probably give our effort in that specific direction. Hello. What have we here? I do wish there was a walk option. I would like to not be running all the time. with these these burning things. I do like the setup. Oh, hello. We've got a story to tell. And we must avoid the water. Okay, people. Yeah, are we going from upper left to lower right? Okay. The people were carving rocks and then dragging those rocks. While they were carving the rocks, they found some sort of a crystal or diamond or other thing. And then the people were like, find more of these, and they found more of them, and then based on... Oh, he snuck, he snuck the rock out, this dude, uh, past the other people who were carving other rocks, and then uh, was free with the rock that he had found, the crystal, whatever it is. Pictorial storytelling is, an, is a really good element of conveying story without having to um, literally tell you. We can show you. Show, don't tell, as they say. Although there are rare cases where you do literally just want to tell the user what's going on because you don't want to confuse them. Oh. That's, that's kind of a very focused, specific light effect choice that they made there that doesn't have a shadow. Oh, heavy footprints. I, I am not only a ghostly shadow, I also leave ephemeral footprints that disappear over time. disappear. Maybe they just stay forever. Oh, what is this? We've got more winged statues. Okay. Uh, I guess we go through the portal. Now what? Oh, I have limited time in the portal world? Or something? Yup. Okay, we have limit. What the heck? Oh, I leave ghosts of myself. Now, isn't that cool? So is this just one of those you stand on it and it activates? Aha! We figured out the secret here. Can I artificially stop? Oh, I'll just have to wait on this until it wears off. That's a cool puzzle mechanic. I like that. The, the whole back in time and do it again. Thank you, ghostly me. I will forever be thankful for your service. Until next time, bye. Well, we're not going back that way, are we? We're, we're already starting to get into more complex puzzle land. That looks like a fake door of some type. Okay. This looks like a thing that might move if whatever this is is stepped on. give ourselves time to get over there and press the button. Okay. This is probably just a you fell down and so you can get back up kind of area. Got it. Alright, we're going to go through. I'm gonna wait until I have time to get over there. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. And then right now we'll press the button. Okay, good. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, other me. Hi, how's it going? Do the button thing for me, please. Thank you. Goodbye. I jam it right along here. Really like the oboe sound effects going on. Okay. Um, okay, we've got a block.
Oh, that's one thing I didn't check in that last room. Was there a... Did it open somehow? I didn't really look for that. Um, yeah, we'll just look in this other room up ahead. If it happens again, we'll go ahead and try that. Let's see here. Okay, we've got the bridge that crosses over and then... Then what? Let's, let's start with one thing at a time. Let's cross the bridge. Oops. We'll cross this one bridge at a time here. Uh, uh, uh. Right? So does the bridge open doors for us? Uh, no, that doesn't open. What is... No, no. End recording. Oh, okay. R stops things for us. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. That takes me upstairs. Got it. No, I can't. I can't falsely end that recording though. I have to. Um, I have to go straight for it. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting. Can I interact with this? Oh, I can't. I can. Okay. Cool. All right, onto the bridge we go. And those don't do anything. Those circular motifs. Okay, bye. Thank you. Going upstairs. Another streamer I know, Queen City Q, was playing the first Tomb Raider game last night. This definitely has some feel, look and feel from that. Uh-oh, we just hit a, a point of no return. We cannot go backwards. The, f the flight person has two wings instead of them being on their back. Okay. What have we here? Is this a block I can put? I can push the cube. Ah, I know what must needs to be done. Presuming I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop pushing the cube. Thank you. We're gonna hop on here. Whoa, we're not gonna hop on there. We're gonna we're gonna try not to fail hopping on there. Okay, and then we're gonna push ourselves across. <clears throat> Alright. Push a cube person. Push that cube. Good job. All right, I gotta be on the cube. Don't go leave without me, thank you. You're like doing all the hard work. I'm just kind of sitting here relaxing. Thanks, bye. Okay, I don't know why I feel compelled to say goodbye to my to my doppelganger. For some, for some reason I do. Okay. Each room is a very largely, continually more complex puzzle. Dear. Not water again. Water, my forever nemesis. Whatever shall I do? Oh, this is gonna be tight. Um... How fast does that move? Not very fast. Problem is, I'm gonna have to press the button twice. Okay, this is gonna be tricksy. And we have to run. Oh, 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 oh. I think I know what I need to do. Never mind. We're, we're gonna we're gonna go about this a slightly different way this time. The the shadow version of me is gonna be the one responsible for hopping on this and going to get this thing. That's what we're gonna do this time. Pick this up, please, and put it right here. Thank you. Once again, doing all the hard work. Just put that cube on the on the platform for me, please. Thank you. Okay, and I'll just uh, I'll just bring that back over here so I can make good use of it for the betterment of all. There we go. Look at us just blocking our way downtown. Sorry, I will try to minimize the number of puns, but I can't guarantee that that's actually going to happen. Oh, hello. Um, more platforms we can't jump back up. 
because I need to learn how to do these little atmospheric dot things that you see sometimes in games. Alright, saved and moved. Um, let's not fall down here. We're just gonna have to platform it. Okay. Look at us being the platform jumping pros that we are. This looks fairly complex. What does what in this case? Okay, that button raises that little platform. This sends that across. So what? Let's take a look here and see what happens. Oh, okay, got it. Just gotta put it together in my head. Okay, we need this block in order to be able to climb up and across there in the first place. So we're gonna go ahead and use the block to be able to get to the thing, like so. And then, did I even need to? Yes, I do, because then I gotta run this back over there and drop it, and then I gotta run over there and make sure I do the thing in time. So here we go. Pick that up. Run over here. At the very last second, drop the block. All right. Pardon me, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, nice. You're not getting me this time, water. My inability to swim will never be a hamper or damper on my ability to progress farther in the world of puzzles within this game. A lot of sand, a lot of water, a lot of rocks. Save time. Oh, no save that time. Interesting. Oh, we're back outdoor. Oh, dear. That, um... Oh, my. No, this is gonna get really complex really fast. Okay, we're done with the introductory area. Now we're into the ha-ha-ha-ha-ha hard puzzles area of the game. Oh, Dad! Wait, Dad, what you doing? Why are you a gigantic image of, of uncertainty. Hello. Oh, cutscene. Wow. After all those years, I finally found it. The Great Gate of Egypt. I wonder what ancient mystery it may hide. Dude, so, never open the gates. If I interpret the symbols correctly, I should say hi, opening the gate has something to do with these missing seals. The rest is harder to decipher. It's strange, but there is something written about a place above the clouds. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find out what that means. I wonder if they use this whole place looks like a huge mechanism, probably driven by those buttons. But only one seems to work. Hint, hint. Go press the one button. Okay, bye, Dad. I wonder if the developers actually translated literal language into this, or if it's just random symbols. I'll have to ask whether or not that's the case. Oh, there was some sort of a secret, too, I remember, that was in the Kickstarter thing. You had to... I'll have to read up on that. Next time... Okay, very bright looking pyramid in the middle of the desert. Not at all. Can I can I go around the edges of it? That'd be cool. Whoops. Nope, we have an artificial wall there. You're not allowed to explore everybody. You can't you can't just, you know, go check it out. Water, my forever nemesis. Really slow down in water. Oh, there's more over here. What's in this side? Well, hello. That's really far down there. What's this? 
They left a convenient elevator for us to get back up. Oh, this just takes us down here. Okay. It looks like we can walk around down here. Is there more? There's, oh, there's some sort of a gate. A thing which we know not yet how to enter. My exploratory senses are tingling. It's not gonna let me cross this. Yep, no, sorry, you're not allowed. Water deeper than two feet is is unsafe for anybody. Nobody can swim. <laughs> I do I do have to chuckle a little bit at the, the artificial nature of making a decision that the character cannot swim. Just a little. Alright, I've got a convenient elevator to go back up at least. Ooh, I wonder if they hid something underneath the elevator. That's a very thing that people do in some games. Let's, let's see if that's the case. Did they hide something under the elevator panel? Nope, just sand. There's nothing there. Um, it was worth checking. There are many games that do that as a mechanic within the adventure genre, within the puzzle genre. Okay. Moving right along here. Let's go check out the three symbols. We've got a scarab beetle, we got some sort of a lizard gecko, and we've got a snake. And only one of these buttons actually works right now, so we're gonna go ahead and press the button us to the scarab beetle. Oh, it's a rotary... It's a rotary platform. That's very smartly designed. I like that idea. Oh, hello. Are we back? Okay, good, we're back. I almost feel like they didn't need to cutscene that. They could have just locked the character in place and swooped the camera out. But I guess they don't have the character model loaded um, between those cutscenes. Okay, we're... Welcome to the scarab beetle. You are here, and you are going to go there. And that's cool, the map. So we're going to go across through here. There's a bridge. There's a more complex room, and then there's a temple pyramid of some kind. And we have to bring whatever we had back here, probably. So onward into adventure we go. Your journey begins. I just unlocked an achievement. Julio. Find the block, open the door, make it happen. What does this do? Reset cube. Oh, that's a new mechanic. We can now take cubes and put them back. I do get a portal-esque feel from this for sure. <clears throat> Let me guess, I'm going to need that cube that I just reset. most likely the case. Okay, um... Let me go get my cube. Is it gonna steal my cube if I do this? Yeah, the door's gonna lock. Okay, we can't do that this time. I'm gonna have to find another way to get a cube. Not allowed to go in deep water, that's too dangerous. Um, hmm. Yeah, can't go that way, that's for sure. That is a one way door lock, it appears. Um,. There, there definitely can't jump that. The implication is that we can get a cube there somehow. The question is how? If just by picking this up, am I able to like throw it somewhere? Like up there? No. No. I got stuck. Now I'm gonna have to go back. Hold on. I'll just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can stand on it. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, 
um, so if I can stand on the, the button, that means I can have alternate me stand on the button while I go grab the cube. Okay. I'll just hang out here for a while while you figure that out. Time to go. Thanks for the cube, friend. I appreciate it. Look at us, walking above things. I like that we can't pick up cubes once we've done that. Uh, okay. We need to be able to do this now. So we gotta bring the cube over to that platform. Alright, cube. You and me were going places. Have a new home. Thank you. I needed a cube, now I have a cube. Look at that. <coughs> Alright, double platforming time. Friend here is going to go stand on this to bring me over there. And then remove this so that I can go the rest of the way. Ah, wait, no, too soon. Oh. It was no good. I didn't wait long enough. Let's try that again, shall we? Need just a little more time to make sure I can actually get on the platform first. Okay, then transition. Then go remove the cube. Cool. Just needed a little more time there. Perfect, thank you. That worked a lot better. Alright, go ahead and yoink that cube. Perfect, good job, well done. Alright, so the person with the crystal went to the the great High Makamaka, the Pharah, and then said, I have the power of the crystal and I will make you bow down to me and break your spears and use them to attack you and then you will give me the wings of flight? or something because I'm better than you now so you have to listen to me that's just how we do these things Ooh, whoa whoops I didn't mean to do that that early let's go for a swim shall we okay that's a bit better all right there's a button there that's gonna make a platform that I can probably jump across oh it goes that way that's different do we place a block? Yeah, we'll place a block on that. All right. Oh, it's good that they made kind of a transparency so you can see where you're pushing things. I do like that mechanic. Oh, whoops. Done, done. That's a, that's a good use of game mechanics, making it so that you can see around large objects that you're pushing when you're in first person view. Should be able to hop across there now. Cannot hop across that. Oops. Sometimes you get stuck on the architecture. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 ideas, ideas. Great, great ideas. I know exactly what I am intended to do here. Almost exactly, anyway. Um, can I solve this without? No, I can't because I have to be able to get to a gate in order to solve it. So we need a block to get to the gate in order to solve this problem. Okay, this activates that, that does that, okay. Sure enough, stepping on that extends a footbridge, okay. Okay friend, go ahead and extend that footbridge for me and just kind of hang out for a while while we figure this out. Cool, let's go to a footbridge, shall we? Thank you very much. I enjoy being able to walk across my footbridge. Alright, we have to stand on this in order to reset that. So, we temporarily need... What? We 
that's I think that's what we need to do is we need to have our friend stand here and then go over there with the block in order to progress. So the block's got to go down here temporarily. And then we're going to go over here and stand on this little thing. Hopefully giving them enough time to do what they need to do. And then disappear. Perfect. Alright, you need to make it across there first. Okay, this is going to be really, really, really fast. Uh, I'm not going to make it in time. Yeah, that's a bit of a rush. <clears throat> Maybe if I... I think I just have to set this over here first. Can I jump on this when I... No, that's not going to work. Oh, we can't cross it unless the block's there. That's not even an option. Hmm. There's an order of operations problem here. Excuse me. This is a really, really tight kind of schedule. We got there as fast as we could. Alright. If I take this off, will you just still be able to cross it? You can, because there's an after image. That's cool. Okay, we've got our block. Thank you. Good to know that I can kind of sort of cheat that in a weird way. Alright. Now that we have access to this, we can do our ultimate plan, which is to... Uh-oh, maybe that's not going to work how I wanted it to. I have to be on top of that block, and then i got to push me across there. So, once I fall... Oh, we can still do this, never mind. I just had to change the way I think about it. All Shadow Me has to do is press the button first. That's it. Then Shadow Me can push me onto the block and we can make forward progress. Perfect. Okay, Shadow Me, let's go ahead and move a block, shall we? Oh my gosh, you need to move it faster though, please. Good enough. You did the work. Now, the tricky part is, is how am I supposed to jump on that block? Oh, no, it'll work. I think I just need to adjust this slightly. Uh, so that it's more over here. Like. That'll work a little better. <clears throat> That way I can just jump straight on it and we can go across. Let's give this a try. One, two. Alright, I hopefully gave enough time to jump on the actual block to get it across the ravine. Okay, let's go. Working hard. Thank you. We have progressed into a new realm of the unknown. Somebody keeps all these torches burning forever. Ooh, pyramids. Hello. I have come for your shininess. Um, uh, we turn the pyramids upside down? Is that what we do? Sure, why not? Let's see what happens when we do it. Ooh. There's that font text again that we don't know what it does. But we've activated something. Ooh. This is completely different. This is utterly and completely different. Nice. Look at this, we are literally in the sky. 
Okay, I'll press the thing. No, I can't press the thing. Okay. Cool. We're now airborne. Um, what is that gonna do for me? Oh, okay. This one activates that one. And this one activates this one. Got it. Got a kind of witness-esque aesthetic going on here. This seems like it's a teleport pad receiver. So I gotta get all the way over there somehow, or over there, or wherever it's going. And there's another floating thing over there. I do like how spread out things are. That's kind of cool. One, two, three, that should be enough time. Okay. I also like how they were very careful to design this so if you fall off you're not, uh, you know, s completely stuck. Um, wait a minute. I can't do that now. Oh, okay, we have to do one after the other. We can't just do one. One, two. One, two. I don't think that was long enough. We're gonna have to do it again. I don't think I need to do one, two. I could probably just do a one count. <clears throat> yeah, we can go. We can go straight to that one. We don't have to wait. Okay, ready and one. Yeah, that works. Because then it's there and ready for me when I get across. Perfect. Much better. Okay, one count. It's all about the timing with these puzzles. Let's not fall down into the unknowns of the great sky. Hello, what are you about? I will accept you. To what end, I know not. But I have one of you. Who knows what happens if I get more of you. It's surprisingly calm for being up in the sky where it's usually very high winds and things are kind of crazy. Boing. Maybe there's some sort of a thing that keeps things calm. Oh, you made it up here. Hi, Dad. We're going to unlock a triangle. Triangles are our friends. Is doing this in a particular order change things? I don't know, but here, go ahead and float into your home. You'll be happy there. You have a home now. Okay. Yep. Onward we go. Look at me solving puzzles like nobody's business. What is this about? Oh, it's just a way to get back. Ooh, the music got kind of cool. The key. Okay. And those two are not connected. I don't know if I'm going to be able to solve that, but I'm going to do my darndest. The person found more of the crystals and shared them with the everybody who was doing all the hard work. And then he took the crystals and was like, look, I can grow food. We can make water. We can lift blocks and not have to work hard anymore. We've all done hard work to do this, so let's just get food and water and make everybody's lives a lot easier and better as a result of that. Cool. Oh, okay. 
up and down. I'm going to check over here real quick just because I'm curious if this is just a return path or if this is actually somebody. Well, there's something here that I can do. Aha. Okay, there is a bridge that goes across there somehow. I don't know what that key means yet, and I'm I'm actually just going to go ahead and screenshot it because it might be important at some point. Maybe there's a, a, a larger meta puzzle somewhere in here that has meaning. Go ahead and screenshot that really quick. I do like when games have meta puzzles in them that you don't really know about necessarily on the first playthrough, but that you find out about on later playthroughs. Okay, um... I'm gonna put that there. Oh, I need that in order to do that. Never mind. Do I, though? I think I do. Let's go explore up there first and see what happens. Um, oh, wait. That's that's the, that's the key to the whole thing. That's literally the key to the whole darn thing, is me being up here so that that can go over there. Okay, I think I can do this. Um, can I? Okay, so I have to press that button. In order to press that button, I have to go through the portal. In order to go through the portal, the door has to be open. So, start with this. <clears throat> I can use this to go through here. Wait a beat then pick up the block and put it over here, hop up, and press the button. Hopefully that's enough time. Alright, yeah, then press the button, please. Perfect. Got something over there and a button over there that gets us over there. Alright, this is the extension of that. Okay. Got it. Let's try this out. I'm just gonna stay on this for the entire length of it because there's no reason for me to rush. There we go. Hey, now that I'm up here, now what? Yeah, we need that block. We're not going to be able to do this without the block. Okay. Got to go back. Got to redo that other part. We need that block. We got to bring it with us. There's no other way to do this. All right. Got to bring the block along with us. All right. Give it one, two, three, four, click. And plenty of time for me to be able to get that block and use it for my own purposes. There we go. Come with me. We know what's going on now. Thank you. All right, we're gonna put the block over here so that it's ready to go. And then we're gonna go press a button. One, two, three. That should be plenty of time. Whoops. There we go. Thank you, ghostly friend. Then we just put the block on this platform right here, and we are good to go. Part two solved. Hello, thing. Why don't you come and hang out with me for a little while? I accept you into my warm embrace. It'd be cool if you could look down and you could see yourself carrying this gigantic crystal thing. Can I fall off of this? I'm going to anyway, so... Hey up! We can handle drops of that height. That's good to know. I remain very happy that it is not crazy windy up here in the sky 
land. Okay. Is that representing all these connected islands somehow, maybe? Not sure. Oops. There we go. Alright, part number two solved of our four-part adventure. note that it didn't prompt me to place the crystal that time. It was just like, you know how to do this already. You don't need to be told again. You're good to go. You're a smart person. You'll figure it out. Okay. This looks like that teleport bridge that will get me back across there. Okay. We've even got some random statues going on up here in the Skylands. People pouring water. Or something. Wine. I prefer to think of it as wine. Ooh, there's something down there. Um, I'm gonna go explore down here real quick, even if I'm not supposed to. Oh, there's a staircase that literally takes me here. That was, you know... I totally saw that. I totally, totally spotted that staircase ahead of time and didn't miss it at all. Ooh. Oh, the key... Is that it? Oh no, the... Yeah! That's what that key does. Okay. And where is this gonna take me? I'm not gonna find out at this very moment. I'm gonna try and do some other puzzles first, but I am gonna come back here and check that out. Because that looked pretty cool. Definitely kind of a, a subtle little secret there that that you might not have seen otherwise. Because it's very easy to miss that staircase unless you look backwards. Boing! Okay, we didn't fall into the great void beyond. All I have to do is press a button. It's right there. Oh, you tease. Such a tease. Okay. What do we got going on here? We've got some lovely, expansive things. Uh, we got buttons we can press. We can fall down here but not over there. Okay. That opens that. Which farther allows that to happen? Okay. I think I've got an idea of what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to have to book it really fast. We're going to hang out for the whole length of this just in case. Okay, great. Time to go. Thank you for opening the door for me, as usual. I greatly appreciate it. Yep, there's the thing to get across, and this is the block that we need to do it. I'm going to go ahead and place the block on that platform. Because it's just going to be easier. Oh, wait. I might need... Okay, I'm going to need the block over here. That's what I have to do. I have to cross over here. And then press the button at the last second. Three, two, click. Alright. We're running. We're a running. You can go through closed doors, you don't care. You're too good for this. There we go. Just like that. Solved and solved. I do like puzzle games. Alright. We've got another crystal, and next I guess we're going to take a flight on the magical chariot in the sky over there, as soon as I put this crystal back in its happy home. Who decided to put all these crystals in these places in the first place, though? It was like, this is where this crystal needs to be, because it's not in use right now. Who decided to leave it there? All questions we don't have answers to, necessarily. 
but it's still fun to think about. Time to go on a magic chariot ride. Maybe it's not as secret as I thought it was. I think this is definitely integrated into this part of the game, because otherwise how will we get the crystal that's floating way off in the distance over there? All right, press the button and let's go fly. Are you literally flying or are you just kind of floating? We're just floating. We're going for a nice little ride. Ooh, now it's getting a little windy. Cool, I like this. This is, this is a cool effect. I don't feel terribly secure on this thing, but you know, we're just floating. It's cool how you can see the geometry beyond that of that whole other place. Welcome to the final island where there are two floating crystals. You only really need one, but you know, we're going to make it all available to you anyway. Maybe I need both for something to happen. I don't know. Oh, you even automatically reset yourself for the return flight. This is smart user aesthetics. Okay, we've got one over there and we've got one over there. Let's take a look at the one that's a little bit closer. Hello, birdie friend. Aren't you cute? What are you about? You've got a little heart on your chest. You're kind of big, too. You don't make any noise, though. You just kind of clack your beak. That's interesting. Ooh, hello. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of complexity going on with this one. Can't cross there right now. Oh, okay. And there's a spare one over there, and that's what's throwing me off a little bit. I need a block first, is what I need. And I don't think I can get across there right now. I'm worried that once... No, I can, I can get myself back up. That's not a problem, so that's good. Because that button will, will raise me right back up. No problem. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, it's making a noise. Alright, we're gonna need this, so we might as well bring it with us. And put it right here so we can hop up here real quick. Okay, that button way over there. What does this do? Uh, yes, of course. And then turns it off. What does that button do? Let's find out. We'll go ahead and press that button and see what happens. Ah, an extension. Got it. Which doesn't do me any good at the moment. Okay. Can I pick you? I cannot pick you up. Do I need to pick you up? I might need to pick you up. What is what does this do? This opens that door. That's a one-way switch, so I can just press that. Okay, yeah, it has to happen that way. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, we gotta get on here quick. Oh, don't mate the you missed the train. You missed the train, friend. You completely missed the train, because you were sneezing. Oh, there is something down there. Hold on. No, that's just open air. Never mind. We're not going down there like I thought. <laughs> that's too scurry. I don't like heights. Heights are not my friend. All right, let's try this again, shall we? One, two, three. Give you a little time to actually run on that thing. There you go. I'm glad there's nothing scary in the alternate, like, fake world. Because that would be yucky. Okay, press a button. That permanently opens that door. Which is good for us. Smart sound design, too. The, the confirmation sounds are very distinct and easy to whoop, dis differentiate. You know what? Just, just There we go. 
Okay, I have to cross over there. And then I have to cross the other one. So this is a two-parter. We've got to run up here. Press this button with enough time that somebody can get on it. Like that. And then I can't make it. Um, yeah, because then I'm stuck. I can't go farther than that at that point. That's, tr that's tricky. Um, can I do this any faster? If once I press this, does it... Yeah, I have to stay on it. Okay. Um, hmm. Is there a way to get the block up here somehow? So if I could get the block up here, that would be that would be good. I don't think there is though, because I can't. Um, oh wait, no, I can get. I can activate that permanently because I can get the block around to. No, I can't because then I wouldn't be able to hop up here. Um. I can run to there, but then I gotta wait, and then I gotta make it to that button so that I can get across there. But that's a permanent extension, isn't it? It seems like I should be able to... Okay, yeah, I think I know what I need to do now. Um... Maybe. You do this really quick. Okay, and then... No, it has to have happened in the fake world for me to do this correctly. Because once I step off of here, I can't get back up without the block. Um. Yeah, because if the block is on there, then I can place it on there. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's the solution. Oh, I just messed it up, but, you know, that I know the solution now. Okay. Order of operations is how we do this thing. Alright, let's go ahead and move the block back over here. So that it's in place and ready to go. You do your thing. The, the head kind of wobble is a little funny. Okay. Then you're going to go step on this and send that over there. This might, this might work. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try. Okay. We're going to try. Yeah, it might not work. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can jump this to get back up there. That's not going to work like I wanted. I want this block to be here, because then this is permanently extended. That is that is the ideal end state of all of this. Um because then I can get across there and then I can just walk across there. But I can't get myself back up there without having the block on me, so that's where things get mixed up. Hmm. And I can't think of another way to get the block uh, to there other than putting it on this platform and literally having it be over there. And I can't do those actions with the ghost 
me whoops fast enough yeah oh maybe maybe no I can't I can't get the block up here that's just not possible if it was this would be so much easier because I would just pick it up and be good to go it's not like a hidden thing that I'm missing somehow um Yeah, the block has to go there. How do I stay up here while the block ends up over there? Yeah, the way that I did it was the only way that I could think of that it would work. Maybe there's an extra block somewhere that I can bring over here? Because if I had two blocks, this would be way easier. Uh, but I think I only have the one. What about... No, that's got to stay open. Hmm. A little stuck on this one. don't think there's a spare block over there. So if I step, yeah, that, that lets me put the block on there to do that in the first place, but then, like I said, I can't get back up on this platform after the fact. Alright, we're gonna back away from this for a minute, and we're gonna go explore the other side really quick, and maybe I'll find another block there that is usable or something? I don't know. I'm a little stuck right now in that part. Bye, birdies. You all are really high up in the atmosphere. Oh. I, I wonder if I can just take you. Let's see if the block complains if I try to remove it from its environs. <laughs> if, if I can just literally take this block and bring it over here, that's going to be, you know, kind of funny. I don't see why it wouldn't let me do that, but we're going to try. Will you let me carry you past the barriers of, of this puzzle, or are you going to complain? I can, oh, I can't jump with it. Okay, that's the trick. Can't jump with it. So that is completely out of the question. That is how they prevent you from doing that. All right. It was a thought. It was an idea. It didn't end up working out. I'm gonna let my hind brain think on that other puzzle for a little bit. Alright. Another one of you weird birdies. Hi, birdie. You're a different color. Okay, there is a... There is no backside to this. There's just need a block to do the thing. Excuse me. Alright, that activates that. Oops. There's a gate. That seems like it might be useful to have up there, so let's do that. Ah, yes, it's a two-parter. Oh, okay. We have to be pushed onto the block in order to get up there, I believe. Alright, back you go. Can I push you over a ledge? I can. Whee! Alright, and that's open air, isn't it? No, uh-huh. Spooky. Okay, we gotta push ourselves onto this, and then we gotta push the block somehow. 
while we're on top of it. Um, is there an easy way to get on top of the block? Sort of. Just put it here already. Oh, the tricky part is going to be how do you push it when the elevator is so slow. Oh boy. Getting into difficulties. Let's, um, maybe I can, no. Yeah, because this, this is going to make this go across. Which lets me get on top of here without having to take the elevators. That's good. Um, <clears throat> so that lets me push me if I'm on top of the block. So the key is that I have to hop on here and then be pushed somehow. How do we how do we push the block at that point? Oh, okay, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. How do I get on top of the block in order for it to be pushed? I have to be on top of the block. All right, so if my clone comes across here and starts pushing this, I have to come across here at the same time <coughs> and hop on and make it in time, but the clone may not make it in time. Let's just give it a, a trial run and see what happens. Don't know how it's going to go. We're just going to give it a try. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just had a brilliant idea. Why don't we just simplify the whole thing? Put the big block on top of there. Then I just run up and hop on top, and then the clone pushes me. Sometimes I think it does happen occasionally. There we go. Let's get that as close to this end as possible without falling off. Yeah, that'll work. That way the clone can push the block to the wall. Beautiful. I'm just going to take a moment to drink some water. Okay, that's much better. Now then, we have to bring you back over here. <coughs> and we have to time this, excuse me, such that I press the button, I run to here, my clone hops on and immediately starts pushing the thing across. Here we go. Actually, I could do this even better. Boom. Did I make it? I missed it. I think I missed it. Yep. That's not going to work. <laughs> Come back, please. I tried to time it, and I timed it wrong. I did it all wrong. All right, let's do this again. This time, we're just going to jump straight in. Okay. And then once we stop, we start pushing the block. Perfect. Okay, we got to make it on top. We got to make it on top. We got to make it on top. Oh, goodness. We made it on top. Whew. Okay, push this across. Beautiful. Look at that. Achievable. And after all that effort, just for a block, which we now carry all the way back, just so we can hop up there and get one of those floaty sigil things. Ta-da! <clears throat> Alright, we got the floaty sigil thing. Perfect. Now we gotta get the other one. And this is the tricky part. How are we gonna get the other one? Maybe this is built such that you only have to get four of the five? 
but I'm going to try for that fifth one anyway. Because it seems like something I should be able to do. Can I have my fake version do that some... Oh, ooh, 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 yeah, this might work. Okay, so... Have fake me go over here, grab the block, bring the block all the way over here, wait to the last second, then drop the block. This might do it. So very close. Yes, that did it. Okay, and we're still up top. Okay, we've solved it. Whew. See what I said about waiting for that hindbrain to think about it for a few seconds? It just works. Then you place the block over there on top of that, and that extends the bridge. Perfect. All right, now all I have to do is go over here and step on this thing. That was a little trickier. That was definitely a bit trickier. All right. Thank you, other me. Always so polite. Ta-da! I got them all. Not that I probably needed them all, but I got them all anyway. Achievement unlocked for getting the fifth crystal. Cool. I did a thing that, that maybe I wasn't supposed to do, but I got it. Just for the heck of it. Alright, let's go ahead and take our flight back to the main area and then we can oh they do sort of flap they don't really flap per se they just kind of flutter back we go so what's the advantage to living up here in the clouds I guess that you know you're you're removed from the heat well it would be a lot hotter it'd also be a lot colder at night Maybe we're not meant to think about it. That could very well be the case. Mind your head. We're coming in for a fast landing. You gonna turn around again? I believe you probably are. Yep. Cool. This is a well-designed puzzle game. I like it when I get stuck on things. And then figure them out. Now, if I get stuck and I figure it out, that's okay. But if I get stuck and it turns out that the solution was just so obtuse, there's just no way I was ever going to get it, that, that can be a little frustrating. Okay, little crystal. Give me access to the thing. The scarab triangle. Why, thank you. I've always wanted one. Watch it be like now the whole world collapses. Okay, yeah. Now there's an insta... Insta return teleport. At least, at least it's not a world collapsing. You took the symbol, now everything will fall upon you, and doom and death shall reign for the rest of your days. Okay, thank you. Goodbye, building in the sky. 
We're going back to Earth now. What I presume is Earth anyway. The connection has been shut off. It is no more. Welcome back to reality. Where life is full of sand. Oh, what? Oh, insta-teleport back, too. That's convenient. It is also smart design when developers make it so that you don't have to waste time backtracking through all of the stuff that you just spent a bunch of time getting through in the first place. I will admit that in some games like Skyrim where they design it so that, look, you've conveniently somehow ended up at a path that overlooks the original path that you walked in on. Seems a little contrived, but, you know, so is this. It, the, the fact that the teleporter was just off until I solved the puzzle. You know. Okay, I brought you a scarab. Would you like a scarab? Because I brought it. Stand here to do the thing. I, I have brought it. I have the thing. Would you like it? Yes. The scarab is done. I still wish I knew what this text says. I wonder if there's a frequency analysis you could use to figure it out. Whomsoever opens this door shall receive free pizza. Oh, okay, I'm down. I like free pizza. I mean, who, who doesn't like free pizza? I guess people who can't eat pizza for whatever reason. Okay, we've solved the entirety of the first section. Let's rotate on to the Lizard section. And I do remember the basement. I wonder if anything changed in the basement. Let's go check the basement really quick and see if anything's different down there. Maybe there's a... a... Um, something unlocked or something changed. But I am going to run down there really quick and take a look. I wonder if I could just fall off and I'm not going to die. Oh yeah, we're fine. Speed run. We are we are totally, you know, sequence breaking. Speed run sequence breaking. Okay, no, nothing nothing in there that I can do yet. I am still curious though. I'll have to go back and look at that email that said what you're supposed to do in order to unlock the secret thing. Because there is a secret thing that you can do. very secret. I might not do it on stream if I do do it, but it is tempting. Oh, somebody left some... You gotta you gotta polish that. Who who didn't clean the pyramid? Guys, we, we, everybody. We all gotta work to keep our pyramids clean, okay? You, you can't leave whatever that is sitting on top of the pyramid, okay? You gotta clean it off. Just, just get, grab a sponge, do your part, Keep it clean, okay? Alright, welcome to the next section of the lizard. We're gonna go through here, across to here, probably duck in there, and then there to get over around to there. Sounds good. Oh, wow, look. Gigantic lizards. I didn't see beetles in that last one. It's like an alligator, actually, or a crocodile. I do not know which is which. I am not a herpetologist. Oh, hello. Are you pointing at something in particular? Is there a secret over here? It looks like there's a ledge up there. Yeah, okay. Cool feature, but nothing nothing doing. 
still looks like there might be a secret there. Who knows? I gotta look for secrets in everything. Okay, that just returns you to your pedestal. Sure, sure. What does that sound? What do you do? You open this door. Okay. You open that door so I can go up that ledge. Got it! One, two, three, go. Probably did that a little too quick. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> can I just reset it? I can. Two, three, one, two, good enough. Need to give myself adequate time to actually get on the platform that we're going to be using. There we go, thank you. Oh, fishies. Hello, fishies. Hello, sunbathing lizard. I hope you are happy. I have a feeling I have to take this with me. So... We're just going to pretend we need to do that. Um, ooh. Maybe I don't need to take it with me? Because the timing on this is going to be tricky. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can, I can do this the way that I want to. Because if I go up here... and then step through, that's just going to activate the elevator, which is not really what I want to have happening. Um, yeah, we. I think we have to leave the block behind. And if we find out otherwise, we'll come back for it somehow. Looks like a one-way trip to me, though. This is a little too spread apart in order for me to be able to actually do this in the manner that I might want to. Okay, wait till the last second, then press the button. Oh, I might have been able to run over there and grab that. I don't know. Now I'm torn. <laughs> well, well, like I said, we'll find out in a moment if this is going to need a block or not. It doesn't look like it. There's another block right there. So that was a wise choice. What do you do? Okay. You make things fall. And you make things raise. All right, two parts here, we need a block. We're gonna get that block across. There's the block, we'll do that part first. Meanwhile, there was also the story of, uh oh, the guards told somebody to dig one up, and then the guards had the spear power. They then used that spear power to fight back. Uh oh. That's not so good. It was a great battle, and there was doom and death. Bad things happen because bad people are bad people. Okay, we're going to do this and we're just going to wait a split second, then we're going to send it across. That's not actually, did that actually happen? I don't think so. It didn't, because I have the power of this. Oh, then I got to go get it. I might not have done this on a right way. Come back, come back, come back, get, 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 get the block, get the block, get the block. Ah, I missed the block. Son of a gun, and it's going to fall. Oh well. Okay, yeah, we messed that up. Going to have to redo that. <laughs> oh, wait. That's right. I have to be up there first. Oh, shucks. Timing. Timing is everything. Thank you, block-carrying friend. I always appreciate your hard work. Okay. We're going to have to stay on this all the way to the end so that I have enough time to go and grab the block when it gets to the other side. 
All right. Safe. Give me that block. Thank you. Onward we move. Yeah, I think this one just needs to go there. I don't think I have a choice. Oh, we're going down now. Okay. Any more alligator crocodile friends? Cool. Okay, we can't enter the temple until we have a block to enter the temple. So that's a no-go. Can I cross this? That is a go. We can do that. Okay. And there is a button we can press that is just far enough that we won't be able to make that run. Yep. Okay. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Maybe that's a gigantic gate thing that I can use somehow. Ooh, boy. That, um, this is getting complex. Okay. Oh, hello. Turtle friend with a, with an axe. Hello, turtle friend. Can I, can I hop on your shell? Can we go for a ride? No. No, turtle friend doesn't go for rides. Okay, that just resets that. I need a block. As soon as I pick that block up, I can't do that anymore. That disappears. Okay. Um. Got it. We're gonna run across here and we're gonna press that button at the last moment so that I can pick up the block and get on the teleport, transport, whatever you wanna call it. Three, two, click. It's a race against myself, almost. Block. Stand on the thing. Thank you. Cross we go. Okay, friendo. Oh. What? Oh, okay. Got it, I think. So I have to carry that block all the way over there. Put it on that platform. Then I press this thing and it comes across. And then I grab the block. Or I just get on the platform? I guess I just get on the platform. Let's carry the block over there first. All right. Oops, don't do that. That would totally mess things up. Oh, order of operations again. All right, thank you. Now I guess I just press stand on this and then follow it when it comes back across. Hopefully this is long enough. This might not be long enough. This is not long enough. Okay. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay, we'll just stay on it. And then I go through and keep stepping on it so that it stays going to this side. That's how we do this. And then I run over there so that I have enough time to do the thing. All right. Stay there, please, so that I can run over there and actually make use of it. Perfect. Okay. Let's go stand on the thing. Ta-da. Going for a ride. Okay, let me step off there. Perfect. Now I have a block, all my own. To have and to hold. 
to step on to get to places. It's very, very convenient. Buttons! What's in the great depths of the temple? Okay, I have to step AFK for like five to ten minutes, but I will be right back and we'll continue on with this. Please do stick around. I'll be right back. All right, thanks for your patience, everyone. I'm back, and let's continue on where we left off. We were just about to enter this temple thing. Let us see where it takes us down into the dark underground below. Ooh, uh-oh. Was this a place of subjugation? Was this like the, you can't do the thing here? Oh, okay. Get a cutscene. Oh, um, what's this? Is this the the so named hourglass? Can I now do this anywhere? Sure, yeah. Let's just put it on. Oh, now we can do it anywhere. Nice. Start recording, okay. This person was, was trapped or forced into doing this. Now we can hourglass wherever we want, nice. We have found the power that we needed to be able to continue. Very freaky. I got the power. So we might as well bring this block with us just in case. Could come in handy. Oh wait, we can't jump gaps with blocks. That's right, it'll it'll drop us in there. Yeah, okay. I get it, you don't want me to do that. It's your design way of saying no. It's all okay. So now I can go do things. Aha. Now instead of having to react, we can just go ahead and do. That's a, that's gonna be a very different thing. Hey, thanks so much for the tier one subs, Cantor808. I'm not gonna read any of those names off on stream, I'm afraid, because they are just not appropriate. I hope you're doing okay, Cantor. Thank you again for those gift subs. All right, that opens the thing. This just moves the thing, got it. How fast does the thing move when I press the button? Uh, not very. Okay. Do I have to stand on this? To stand on that. Okay. It works. Doing fine. Gonna grill some steaks. Nice. Yeah, right? Found those names today and can't believe they're still active users on Twitch. That is that is something, to put it lightly. Yeah. That's that's kinda something. <laughs> Glad to hear you're having a great Sunday. I'm just trying out this new game uh, that I got on Kickstarter. A little while back, it was just a few days ago actually. Or a couple weeks ago, I should say. Oh, okay. Ah yes. Okay. Um, real me has to stay outside, so fake me can go inside and... Okay, yeah, I got it. Wait, wait, no, I don't got it. Fake me needs to think, bring the thing with me. Oh, I know how to do this now, okay. Step on the thing and wait so that I can take the thing out. I don't I didn't even need to jump on that. That was just a little silly. Alright. 
go fake me, do your thing. Thank you. Always appreciate your work. Yeah, Twitch needs to work on their enforcement of policy sometimes. It's it's I mean, it would be really easy to just set up a automatic system that looked for names that sounded like that and then just, you know, fix it. It wouldn't be all that hard. It is similar to Portal, except instead of portals, you are creating clones of yourself. Um, not sure which other puzzle game you're referring to specifically, but... I haven't played Talos Principle, although it is a game I very much do want to play. Um, so I don't, I don't know if it has similarities to that because I have no basis for comparison, having not played it. I just got the ability to actually clone myself and run around and do stuff um, shortly before <clears throat> you hopped in. And now we're back at another one of these cool temples, and that means we're going to the Sky Place again. So here we go. But yes, I do want to give Talos Principle a try at some place, and I'll probably end up playing it in the VR version of the game. So that seems like a cool thing to try. Ooh. Did you finish all of your Halloween tasks in Dead by Daylight? I am still working on a couple remaining ones, but I finished most of the main ones. Into the sky place again we are. Okay. Oh, I still love that effect, simple as it is. It's a lot of fun. You just got the items, nice. Go me, press the buttons. Wasn't going to do the entire thing. Got it. I'm only doing it because it's it's um, free extra blood points and whatever you call the rift archive shard things. Might as well do those because they seem a little more fun than your other run-of-the-mill stuff. All right. We have to do what? That looks like it's too far for me to just... Maybe it isn't? Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see what happens. Oh, whoops. I have to go up the stairs. Alright. Go extra me. Yeah, it's not gonna be long enough. Oops, I didn't even stand on it correctly anyway. Uh, okay. We're gonna have to put a block over there, I think. No, oh, no, maybe, maybe, maybe it's long enough. Um, maybe if I start down here. No, no, I have to be on it as soon as the button is pressed. That's not gonna make any difference. Doesn't matter. Exactly. Free blood points, free extra stuff. It's all good. Oh, it, it will just barely... Nope, not going to make it. Okay. Well, it was worth trying. The block is not meant to travel with us on this one, I don't think. That's close, but not close enough. Alright, friendo. I usually find this challenge just to be a grind, so I stop doing them. Yeah, I only do them um, if I'm in the mood. I don't at all try to get every single one of the, um, you know, challenge things. Because that is definitely a grind, and I'm not interested. Really grinds your gears. How it going, deal, kid? We're going to make it across. Cool. Is this a have to step on? Oh, no, we do need the block. Okay, fine. We have to take the block with us. I wonder if... Hmm. 
was worried this was going to happen. Ugh. Blocks got to go with us. So how can we extend the amount of time that I'm on that somehow? Block definitely has to go with us. Can I get there faster? Can I can I start here and run halfway there and then run the other half of the way from here? No. Because this is this is further because of this weird loop here. It doesn't matter. Maybe if I just book it straight there and stop. Maybe this will do it? No, it's still just, just shy. Hmm. And you can't jump with the blocks, yeah. It leaves me just shy. Oh, 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 I'm smart. I'm smart now, hold on, I just realized. I can keep doing that. <laughs> Every time. All right. I can be halfway there, and then I can do it again. Like this. Ta-da. Okay, yeah, that works. Thanks, thanks, friend. Still getting used to the mechanic. All right. Now this one is definitely not gonna last long enough, so we're gonna have to do this. that block was supposed to come with me? Too bad. Yeah, there's no way I would have been able to stand on that and make it work. Okay, cool. Gotten past the first major part of that entry puzzle area. And they even immediately rewarded us with one of the crystals. Nice. Hopefully the crystals in the hourglass don't interact in negative ways. Okay. Kind of a interesting. You got a seam on your textures there, sir. Yes, the happy flying people. And our lizard. Let's go ahead and put one crystal in. I do like games that are kind of chill like this, where you just relax, you solve some puzzles, you get some nice music, there's a good atmosphere. There's not this forbooting sense of doom. I also like playing Doom, you know? Just running around, mass killing things. Okay, we need keys for this. I don't know what the key for the flight thing is right now, so I'm gonna have to find it first. All right, left or right? Let's go ahead and go left this time. Oh, mind the gap. Oh, they put a nice, ooh, is there something down here? Or does this just take me to where I would have gone anyway? Oh, hello. Ah, they attacked. And, oh, there's the key. Let me screenshot that. So the, the bad people attacked and the people with more crystals defended. And then they bound the people who attacked them and said, Oh hey, we're we're gonna we're gonna bind you away because you're bad people. You're attacking us. Okay. One, two, three, four, that should do it. Cool. And I is this the only way back up here? I'm guessing this is the only way back up here. Yep, one-way trip. Okay. Super secrets. Super duper secrets. I'm just gonna wait here for the whole thing because I have no clue how long that's gonna take to get to his destination. Okay, thank you, doppelganger. Bye! 
I don't know how I avoided making a Mr. Meeseeks joke up to this point. Okay, back the way that we were going. We can go ahead and activate this since we're going to have to do that anyway. I believe it was just these corner pieces. No? I'm pretty sure that's the screenshot I just took. So this is two keys. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll try and find the second key, I suppose. Oops. Back across the chasm. And now we are into the block hunt. Alright. So you go all the way across, potentially. Oh, but there's a big barrier in the way and we don't want that. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by that. Alright, there's a there's a two part thing going on here. This is gonna be tricky. Oh no. I think I already screwed that up a little bit. Um we're gonna go get a block over here first, I think, because that makes more sense to do. What do you do? You activate something way over here? Way over here. Way over here. That is the block I want. Okay, sure. Don't know if I'm gonna make this in time. Definitely not gonna make that in time. Don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Gosh, they really love throwing these extended difficulty puzzles at you now. Okay, so we're gonna do halfway there. Maybe that'll be long enough. Problem is, is can I turn it off? Am I gonna be stuck out there? I'm probably gonna be stuck, aren't I? Yeah, there's, there's no way to to get back now. That's it, we're stuck here forever. Thanks for playing. Wah! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> okay, yeah, we're we're now stuck. What's that up? Oh, that's just where I came from. Um hmm. If I jump off, what happens? Do I end up back where I jumped from? Okay, it resets the puzzle. Makes sense. So, hmm. Should the doppelganger me stand? No, it can't because if I did try and do that, I would jump on there and then not be able to interact with the block. So the real me has to interact with the block. Which means we have to press the button twice. Whoops. Alright, we're gonna press the button twice. Two, three, no, not long enough. Oh, this is... This is just... Ah. Still not long enough. How am I supposed to even get that far? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. We need that block. We don't have a choice. Um, and the distance is annoyingly distant. Oh, wait a minute. I have a better idea. Could just go from here. That way I have a little more time. 
Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to run down there in time. At all. Have to wait at least halfway. Yeah. Grab it and return. Yeah, I'm not going to make the, the thing in time. There's just no way. <sighs> this is impossible. As it currently stands. Um. Okay. Something tells me maybe we're just not meant to go this way yet. So I'm going to go the other direction first. And let that puzzle kind of brew in the back of my mind for a little bit. Not exactly sure how to go about doing that one. Let's see where this leads. Oh, look, it's right there. It's so easy to get to. Too bad we can't do push-ups or, you know, sit on things and, and lever ourselves up the rest, of the rest of the way to get to stuff. Or any other of those things that normal people can do who exist and are real. Oh. Oh, maybe this is the key for... Oh, okay. So there's a blue key one and there's a green key one. I did the green key one. Got it. Um, oh, that's a possibility. Not going to do this right now, but I just had a thought that maybe that, that gets me to something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I see the whole puzzle there. Uh, anything else over here? Or is this just a dead end? Looks like a dead end to me. Hop! Parkour. Okay, we've got... Yeah, the one across and the one that separates. Okay. Uh, we can't do that right now. This moves that plat... Well, moves both platforms. Ooh, funky. Alright, sure. Timing on this is rather tricky for me. Thank you, friend. One, two, okay. Oh, I don't think I hit it in time. Oh no, I just barely did it, great. Okay, get across, then go across, then go back across, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Make the jump. Whoa, I probably shouldn't have jumped. Whew. I gave myself a minor moment of panic there. All right. And you just extend a bridge. Oh, you just move. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Beautiful. And you extend nice bridges that I can use to get things down. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have to navigate this without dropping the block. Um, which one moves it? Okay, that one moves it. This one spreads it. All right. What? I, I, no, hold on. Okay, I'm, that's why, that's why. Oh. Okay, I gotta think about this. I gotta think about this. We're going across. If I step on this, then step on this. As soon as I step on this, I'm already, like, falling. 
Hmm. Oh, actually, that that would kind of work. Okay, yeah, there we kind of go. I'm hoping I can run across that and go grab the block before it reverts. We're gonna try. Definitely gonna try. Okay, ready, steady, go. Go, 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 go. You can make it, you can make it. You can make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Grab the block. Yoink! Okay, perfect. Whew. We got a shiny. Thank you, shiny. All right. Before we return that shiny, we're gonna go on a little ride. Just see if there's anything else I might have missed here. Yeah, I know how I have to do that one and just can't do it yet. Anything else up here? No? Okay. Let's go for a ride. This is my magic ride. It takes me to new places. We visit the new places. I don't see any other under hidden places except for that one right there that I've already been to, so. The other, um,. The guide for that one must be floating around there somewhere, or it's over here somewhere. We will see. Nice little harp and... Woodwinds. Okay. Come with me, gigantic block. We have places to go, things to do, people to see. Okay, this is going to be a two-parter. Uh, come on. There we go. First, I have to be up here. Next, I have to be on the block. Just right. And then next we have to make the block go up. Alright, good. And then last of all, we have to push me on the block. Let's go. Oh, that's a little trippy with the shader that they're using for that. Alright. Go, do the pushing. Huzzah! We're on top of the world. Okay, one and two. That opens that. And this probably lifts this. Yeah. Oh, let's go to the top first. No, actually, let's wait for that to come all the way down so that I can stand on it. Let's go explore what's at the top. Then we'll come back and we'll go in the middle. Hello. Ooh, shiny. Hey, there's our other pattern. Alright, let me screenshot this. Really quick. That is one, two, three, four. Okay. Hello, flighted person. You seem very happy to be up here. Okay, um, we want to do this on the way down. So, we're going to raise this up. Like that. 
and we're gonna go ahead and step on this. Why not? Whoops. Whoa, 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 don't fall all the way off. We fell all the way off. Never mind. I messed it up. I should have waited till it went all the way up. That's what I should have done. I'm gonna go all the way up, wait at the top, and then open the middle. Just like that. All right. Perfect. In we go. Oh no, it's another one of these. Okay. That's what you think. I'm not actually going backwards. You just think I'm, oh, actually I am going backwards. Never mind. I did it wrong. <laughs> I'm silly. All right, let's continue you onwards. I just need to stand here. There we go. Got it a little backwards there. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Something tells me this just needs to stay here, so I'm just gonna leave it there like that. Because why not? Okie dokie. I see a problem with my plan. I do see a problem with my plan. Is this just the way back? Yeah, that's just a quick way back. Problem is, is that I need to be on this platform and that block needs to not be there. Hmm. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. But I'm standing on it. That's the... Oh, that was the problem. Hold on. That's where I messed up. Um, yeah, my doppelganger needs to be over there. Not me. How come... What? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why is it sending half of me backwards and half of me forwards? That really doesn't make any sense to me. No, oh, no, never mind. Did it wrong backwards again. Ah. I'm confusing myself. Okay, there we go. Stand still. Just stand still. Yeah. I need to be on top of that platform. And my doppelganger needs to be all the way over here. Pressing, lifting this up. Um. Hmm. Oh, maybe, maybe. No, I don't think that would work. Yeah, they're too far apart for me to do that. Um, 
interesting as a thought as that is, I don't think it would work. Do not think that would work. Oh, wait. That was not smart of me. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Just getting my order of operations wrong again. Okay, so I need to be over there. How do I send my doppelganger over there and have it pick up the block? I need to remain... Can I send my doppelganger over there to pick up the block? Is that a, is that a thing I can actually do? Oh, maybe maybe that'll work. Um, let me try this. Yeah, it might work to do this. So we'll try this. Okay, right now. Oh, how come it didn't let me... Okay, whatever. Ah, nope. Screwed up. Do it again. Ah, yeah. I, I kind of know what I need to do now, but I screwed it up. All right, we'll try one more time. So, so very close. And yet, so far. Okay. Try this. Try this again. Okay, doppelganger. Now you go. You wait. You keep waiting. This is gonna be really close, but you keep waiting. Ugh, oh, I don't I don't think it's gonna work. It's gotta be like right there we go. Let's try this instead. So freaking far. Yeah, I didn't I didn't do it in time. Cause I don't think that it lasts long enough for me to get all the way back across. Yeah, it's just shy of being able to get back across. Alright. I'm gonna head uh I'm gonna ruminate on this, because unfortunately I'm out of time for stream for today. So we're going to go ahead and stop there for today. But we will definitely be back next weekend to continue on with Hourglass. Thank you everyone for joining in for this morning's stream where we started off the new puzzle game, Hourglass. It's pretty interesting so far. I'm really liking the game design in it, and it's it's pretty darn good. Thank you also so much to Cantor808 for the two gift subs to questionable Twitch names. We're going to go ahead and throw a raid out to one of our fellow Twitch Hawaii streamers. Let's see who is streaming what out there in streaming land. Mr. Zadok is playing some XCOM. He's a really cool dude all the way over in Southern America. I'm gonna throw him a raid instead. I will be back on Wednesday to continue random roguelike night. We might do some more inscription. We'll see. And I'll be back next week Sunday to continue this game. Until next time, thank you all so much for hanging out. Take care, stay safe, and as always, aloha.